Ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking to use your voting buttons in Microsoft Outlook, I'm going to show you everything you need to know. So let's get into it. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click on new email straight from our Outlook. And this is being done now on my desktop app. Now, once you have created a new email, it'll look something like this. You're going to put a question in your subject or you can even add your question in the main part of your message. Now, what you want to do is add your recipients and go up to the top of the page to your ribbon and look for options. Under options, you'll find a use voting buttons. And here you will have a few different types of voting buttons you can use. There is an approve reject, a yes, no, a yes, no, maybe. And then the option to customize what the actual voting buttons say, as well as setting the importance and sensitivity and security settings. Once you have chosen what buttons you would like to use, you will see up at the top of your message, there'll be a banner that says you added voting buttons to this message. So this is literally just notifying you. So what you want to do now, go ahead and click on send and the recipients will receive that email. So from here, you can just close this up. And if you go back into your mailbox that you sent your email from into sent mail and you go into the mail, you can actually manage all of your responses. You can even cast a vote as well. Now, if this was helpful, you can go ahead and drop us a like and we'll see you next time. Peace.